What's up YouTube? Today we're going to look at multi-signature wallets and how they can help businesses. Because this is one of those features that blockchain allows us to do without the need of a bank. Because typically when you're maintaining a bank account, you would have to go to the bank and then you could tell them to add a second signature in order to do withdrawals. With blockchain and wallets like NEM Wallet, multi-signature wallets are standard and can be used by anyone. So what that means is you can basically create an escrow account for sales or a multi-signature wallet so that two out of three or three out of five signatures signers need to actually approve the withdrawal. So instead of going to the bank and filling out the paperwork and going through that process, now blockchain enables us a much easier path to get as many people as we want to be authorized signers for withdrawals. What's the benefit of multi-signature wallets? Well, if there's an account that has a balance and you hear about people siphoning cash out of an account, this would not be possible with, with a multi-signature wallet where you were part of the primary key or you needed to have two out of three people sign. I'm currently using NEM Wallet as an example because it's one of the wallets that has multi-signature features right out of the box. The currency is not too unstable compared to some other ones. And this is also the platform that I'm going to be working on when I develop my new app. So just a disclaimer, I do own some NEM or ZEM. As a developer, we actually need to own the coins that we are using because that's what's used to actually use the program or use the blockchain. Because with blockchain, everything has a fee and setting up a wallet is free, but setting up a multi multi-sig wallet costs 0.05 ZEM and it's currently one ZEM but they're changing the fee structure because of the price change. Right now it costs one ZEM or 15 to 20 cents per transaction which is pretty expensive relative to the price of the actual ZEM. So once the new fee structure is in place usage of the multi-sig wallet is actually quite cheap. It's less than two cents to create a multi-signature wallet for your business or for different transactions that you might do. Say for instance you decide to sell something like gold or silver and you want to put an escrow party or a third party to kind of observe the transaction. If you have a trusted third party, you can add their signature to the wallet so that there's three people assigned to the new wallet. Once the funds are transferred in there, two of three signatures are needed to sign it to release the funds. As a buyer, both you and the seller could sign and release the funds if everything went smoothly. Otherwise, you would have that third party to act as an arbiter between the transaction. This won't cover all cases, but it would cover the case of a seller not sending anything. Another usage with blockchain and funds transfer is that if this was part of an accounting system like the CEO and accountant who needed to sign off on a deal, you could actually trace where the funds are going. So where would this be useful? Government contracts nonprofit organizations where you're wondering where the money is being spent in small businesses where you have a bunch of other people who are touching the money where you want to make sure you have some control over it or you want to make sure that you have some transparency of where the money is flowing throughout your organization or your business since this is all done in the blockchain you can actually sign everything through a mobile app or a mobile application that has multi-sig capabilities this gives you more control of your money and without the need of a bank. So you don't have to go through all these places. You can see exactly where your money is flowing and who has access to it or who's trying to access it. And you can make changes that are relatively cheap to implement that cost under two cents to make changes. One of the most powerful features of blockchain is that you are your own bank. You make the rules and you make them up front and you're backed by math. So one of the biggest problems with this is that so many people new to cryptocurrency always lose their key or their wallet. So the first thing you have to do should you get involved is to back up your private key and your backup phrases. I'm totally serious about this. I can't tell you how many times I read about people who've lost their wallet and lost their funds because they erased their phone, they reset their factory phone, they forgot their password. There's no one to help you. You hold it, you own it, you're your own bank. So to recap, multi-signature wallets are an easy way to control who's withdrawing funds from your wallet and to make sure that you can be at least one of the co-signers to approve a withdrawal. 
So let me know what you think in the comments section below about this video. I know it doesn't have the greatest uh, graphics, but that's about as good as I can get. But I do hope to improve. Anyway, if you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and see you on the next one.